What's up, guys? Welcome back. Football season is back in action, and today we're making these delicious and crispy honey hot chicken wings. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. We're getting started with whole wings, and I'm going to show you guys how to part these out and save yourself a couple of dollars. Typically, at the grocery store, the whole wings are a little bit cheaper per pound. There's a joint that separates the wing tip. There's also a joint that separates the drum and the flap. So all you need is a sharp knife and a little bit of patience, and you can part these out yourself. You can save those wing tips to make a delicious chicken stock down the road. We're approaching the fall season, so chicken stock's going to be really critical for all your soups and stews and things like that. So just run your knife down the joint and separate the drum and the flap. Place them in a mixing bowl because we're going to clean those up. This is important guys because anytime you butcher your own chicken, you don't want to have any bone fragments or cartilage or anything like that that could, that could damage your teeth. So just get in there and make sure they're nice and clean and then we're going to brine them. So we're going in with a couple tablespoons of Texas peat or whatever hot sauce you like and one quart of buttermilk. We're also going to add a little bit of seasoning, so I'm going in with my all-purpose seasoning. If you haven't tried this yet, you can get yours via the link in my description box. I also added a discount code there for you as well. So a little all-purpose seasoning. If you don't have that, just use a little salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. Really, whatever seasoning you like for your poultry will work just fine. Get in there with your hands, massage those chicken wings, treat them with the love and respect that they deserve, and then pop them in the refrigerator. In another mixing bowl, we're going in with two cups of all-purpose flour and a quarter cup of cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to help these wings stay nice and crispy. We're also going in with some cayenne pepper to add a little bit of spice. A little bit more all-purpose seasoning or just some salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Also going in with one packet of sesame. Use whatever brand you like. Break out the fork and mix those ingredients into that flour. You're going to want to taste your flour just to make sure that it's seasoned adequately. If you don't taste the flour, then you're really just guessing. And if you're guessing, you're usually going to be wrong. We're also going to go in with some Tony's Creole seasoning. So again, you can use whatever Cajun or Creole seasoning you like. Get in there with a fork. Make sure everything is well combined. Make sure the flour is seasoned to perfection. And then we're going to set that aside. Once our wings have brined for at least an hour, you can do this overnight as well. We're going to go ahead and bread them up. So get in there with your hands. Make sure that they're breaded beautifully. No bald spots. Then we're going to place them on a baking sheet with some aluminum foil. And let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is going to give the flour time to really adhere to the chicken. That's going to ensure the chicken is nice and crispy when it goes into your fryer. While we wait for that to happen, we're going to go ahead and make our sauce. We're going in with two tablespoons of butter. As always, guys, specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Once those two tablespoons of butter have melted nicely, we're going in with one cup of your favorite hot sauce. I like to use Texas Pete for this recipe, and then we're going in with one cup of honey. So equal parts honey and hot sauce, depending on your spice preference. If you want them to be extra spicy, obviously you would use more hot sauce. If you want them to be a little bit on the sweeter side, you would use a little bit more honey. Just taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. That's the name of the game. We want to do this over medium low heat. You always want to warm your sauce before you add that to hot chicken wings. Otherwise, it's going to drastically reduce the temperature of the wings. And it's going to make the breading kind of soggy. We're going to fill our fryer up with about a gallon of oil. Get that up to 350 degrees. And we know it's 350 degrees because we're using this beautiful food thermometer. If you haven't got a food thermometer yet, you can get that in the description box as well. Go ahead and add in your chicken wings into that 350 degree oil. Give it a shake. Make sure nothing is sticking to each other or sticking to the bottom of the fryer. That way nothing burns. We want to make sure these are cooking evenly. So get in there with your tongs and flip them around occasionally just to make sure that they're cooking beautifully. Nice and golden brown. These fry up in about six to eight minutes depending on how large the chicken wings are or how much steroids they've been injected with. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Oh, man, that's a beautiful chicken wing. Look at that. We're going to place that on a wire rack and not a paper towel because if you use paper towels, the paper towel gets soggy and then eventually your wings will get soggy as well. I like to use this wire rack. As you can hear, these wings are far from soggy. They're beautifully crispy, cooked to perfection. Our sauce is nice and warm, well balanced with the sweet and the heat. Brace yourself for a quick trademark money shot. A little sauce pour over. We'll give these bad boys a toss and we're going to be ready for NFL game day. Let me know in the comments who your NFL team is, who your pick is to win the Super Bowl this year. 
I'll be in the comments talking trash with you guys as well. Go ahead and plate these up on a white plate. Oh man, those look good. You can see how crispy they are just by looking at them. Oh my goodness. Let me know in the comments if your team drums or flats and if your team ranch or blue cheese. Let's get a little discussion going. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. And there's nothing left to do, guys, but give this a taste test. You guys know I'm a drum man. Going right into the blue cheese with the drum. Let's get a taste test going. Oh my goodness. Somebody get the guy a napkin. You got stuff all over your mouth, buddy. And that's my recipe for honey hot fried chicken wings. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.